Hello, church. It is so good to be with you today. My name is Jay Horton. I am your director of communication. I'm here to invite you into my story and to share a little bit about me so we can get to know each other better despite being physically distant. Uh, I am 24 years old and I was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And fun fact, I've lived in six states in my short life, Colorado, Kansas, Indiana, Iowa, Virginia, and Georgia. I graduated from Rome High School in Rome, Georgia in 2014 and uh, then went off to the University of Georgia, go dogs, uh, to uh, pursue my bachelor's of arts in journalism and public relations. I graduated there in 2017. My whole life, I have been a church kid, uh, church nerd, um, lifelong United Methodist, and I have for a while now felt a call to some sort of uh, ministry. Um, for a while, I thought that was to be a back of the house church organizer or planner. Um, I saw the church had a image crisis. Um, that's why I pursued public relations. Um, they, church is often seen as hypocritical or judgmental or um, not as inclusive as it could be. And I wanted to change that and I wanted to do it from the inside. So after graduation, I went to work for Roswell United Methodist Church um, in Roswell, Georgia, right up Roswell Road from um, East Cobb. And uh, with, ironically, Reverend Kristen Hyden and Reverend Eric Lee. And there I helped them with day-to-day -day activities. Um, I helped with the inclusion process, bringing people into the church and getting them um, acclimated and everything and um, helping them make sure they had everything they need and then encouraging them to go out and find ways to participate in the mission of the church in the community. Um, I also helped uh, with Sunday school classes and um, resource the discipleship department and it was quite a rewarding job until my bosses got reappointed but um, the way God works, I um, followed one of my bosses, Reverend Kristen Hyden, obviously, to East Cobb United Methodist Church. And it is a joy to be um, in community with y'all now. Um, other things I have done professionally is I uh, worked as an event coordinator at the University of Georgia all three years I was there. And then I also worked as a communication specialist at the conference office, helping with the revision newsletter and the 2019 um, general conference. Uh, I am currently a Master's of Divinity student um, at Candler School of Theology at Emory University. I've sort of changed my trajectory and I, I now feel like I uh, can no longer run from my call to ordained ministry and I am pursuing elders orders in uh, the United Methodist Church and I'm a certified candidate there. Um, I am also excited to announce that I will be, um, when we can worship again, um, we'll be with you on Sunday mornings um, helping out and learning um, more about uh, what it's like to be a pastor um, there as I um, work to get class credit as well for um, helping with different things around the church. And so I'm very excited about that. Um, other things you need to know about me is I love nature. Um, I love hiking and walking and especially running. Um, that's one way I feel that I worship God um, as our devotion devotionals last week pointed to um, exercise is a great way and is a spiritual discipline a great way to connect with the divine and that's one way I do it and I feel that um, I find God. Other things I like to do is I love to watch movies with friends and I love to read. Um, my favorite book is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chomsky. It's ironically also my favorite movie. Uh, other books that I like, uh, have liked recently is Where the Crawdad Sings, um, Hillbilly Elegy, Searching for Sunday by Rachel Held Evans. Um, I'm currently reading Untamed by Glennon Doyle and The American Marriage uh, by, don't quite know the author right now, but, and I, yes, I am a multiple book reader at one time. Uh, what else do you need to know about me? I, my favorite food is um, pokey. Um, it's a Hawaiian like sushi-like bowl and my favorite place to get it is Pokey City um, in Midtown um, next to Piedmont Park. Um, my favorite snack is popcorn and, oh, what we're here for, my favorite scripture. My favorite scripture comes from uh, Numbers 6 verses 22 through 27. 
The Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I love this scripture because it reminds me of my childhood. For those who have grown up in the Methodist Church, you may be familiar with this verse, um, as it was the United Methodist Youth Fellowship, UMYF, benediction. And we would, at the end of youth group or any youth activity, really, we would cross our arms right over left. We would hold the person's hands next to us in a circle. And we would say this, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And then we would spin out and we would go into the world um, with this blessing, with this image of God shining God's face on us and then us going into the world to shine that light, that face to everyone we meet bringing peace. I have often connected this also to my favorite quote from St. Mother Teresa, peace begins with a smile. I find it my mission to bring as much joy as I can into these places I am at. And anyone who has emailed me knows that my, I often end my emails with smiles and blessings. It's my way of adding more peace into the world it also is what I put on my graduation cap when I graduated from the University of Georgia. Smiles and blessings. So that I can take this image of the anthropomorphized God's face shining on me and me, the image of God, reflecting that back to everyone I meet, bringing peace, bringing blessings bringing joy, something I think the world needs so desperately. And I hope this scripture is just as uplifting to you as it is to me. And now I think I will close in prayer. Holy God, we thank you so much for shining your radiant face upon us, filling us with your joy and your peace that as we walk in the world, we may shine that joy and that peace to all we meet, especially in this time of uncertainty. We ask you to be with those who are suffering most, the poor, the marginalized, the ill. Be with our health professionals and our leaders as they try to bring about peace and help us to do all that we can in our own power to bring about peace as well. We can't wait till we can gather again as a community of faith, but we know you are with us wherever we are and we are grateful for that. Give us the courage and strength to persevere in faith in love, in joy, and with hope. In your holy and most precious name we pray. Amen.